But yeah, next up we have Murusu, and he's facing off against Pepe. 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 I will never not say his name like that. You know about Pokemon League? Oh, something good. Make something good. A good song. Uh, yeah, this is good. Yeah. Zinnia. This is pretty much the best out of this stage. Steven is also good. So it's going to be King K. Rule, and if he, if Pepe is playing the same character he played in doubles, it's going to be Dark Pits. What is? Yeah, Dark Pits. Um, yeah. Now it's going to be a match. <laughs> the one thing I want to see in this match: uh, how does the crown and the cannonball deal with? Uh, okay, yeah, the arrows. Like, how do they act when they come, uh, collide? Mm. You're right about that. I think it, they might just be knocked down at that situation. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that armor is so. St I can understand almost all the moves, but why does that move have armor? I mean, and can, did you see the way Pepe realized that he has? Uh, he's just punching armor, and he actually went behind him so he could punch him in the back. Yeah, but he still he still had uh, some armor, but it's not forever. Exactly. It oh, ah, he got knocked off, but he still traveled all the way. Yeah, and it didn't seem to harm Moroso, so... I mean, it's his crown, he just ultimately absorbs it when it comes, uh, comes into contact Yeah, with because him. that's one of the things, because even if it's not considered his property, it's still his property. Exactly. This is my crown, and my crown only! I mean, that's what happens when you're a king. Even if something isn't your property, it's your property. As, as long as you demand it. 71%, it's starting to reach the percentage where down throw is gonna be scary. Yeah, ouch! But we're gonna have to see whether or not Pepe can actually take the stock before. Okay, the crown goes through the arrows. That is crazy. Forward throw is the kill throw, but not not this heavy boy, not that far from the ledge. Oh, the reading a jump, Ooh, nice. but unfortunately not gonna get Down it. Down the smash. Oh, oh, no punishment on that air dodge. But, but he still managed to get... Oh, oh so close, but no! Ah. So close, yet so far, but yet so close, and he dies. I mean... Immediate if retaliation. I, immediate, but if I tell you that that back air is the most beautiful thing in Smash Ultimate so far, what would you say? I'd say it's in the top five of beautiful things in Smash Power, Smash Ultimate. Okay, I'll, I'll take uh, that. I accept that. I accept that. Because there is nothing more beautiful than charging your chargers in the air and then dying because you don't know you can jump out of it. Yeah. Okay, down two. That's actually really scary on the uh, edge. Okay, it oh. does it does strike him. At the oh, and nice using of the electroshock arm as well. Yeah, because oh. of, co of course electroshock arm also has it also Super reflects. Armor. Yeah, and it, it reflects projectiles. It does, it does, it does. So, uh, King K rules. Proje oh, nice! Actually, just real baiting out the uh, down smash, but not getting anything unfortunately yet. I think the shield just now didn't actually do proper yeah, connections. But yeah, you didn't. You didn't Ooh, hear nice. the like. I didn't hear the ping. The s small noise when it reflects. Well, it doesn't oh. matter. That you you can't reflect that fist. You can't reflect that fist. Rose, just getting him off. Please rephrase that. Uh, here we have. It, the situation is very much in Mursu's favor. He's, uh, he is so heavy that you can't really knock him off yet, and he keeps doing so much damage. Ah, uh, off stage, that Nair actually does kill. When wow. I played, when I played with Bakke, he said pretty much that. Yeah, okay. When you hear that, like the small, when it then then the properties change and it's not anymore K rules crown. But All that's right. weird that it. Oh yeah, because there must be some sort of frames in the down beat that it doesn't reflect and it just hits him like normal shield and bounces back. True, true. Technology. Oh, but oh, not enough. Oh, that should be enough. Spike. Nice. Wow. Because that's that was surprising. I mean, uh, Mursu had such a big long lead and strong lead. That I really didn't expect that. Yeah, that's true. But that's one of the things that we just saw that how you need to deal with that up B if you want to deal with it. You strike from the sides. Of course, yes. it's way easier to say it, uh, said than done because there's not that many characters who can go that deep and challenge the up B. Because yep. boy, does that up B go far. Yep, especially, you know, uh, going that deep and even going so deep as to be 
side by side with the character, it's just very dangerous. I mean, if you just had to be above the character, most people could do it, but no, you need to be side by side. And K rule, K rule is usually ready to go very low. Yeah. So right now, I want to see interaction. What happens when Villager drops his bowling ball on that thing? Does it go through? I mean, yeah. I hope it does go through. It would be stupid if it didn't. What about Game & Watch's new forward air? That, that too. I mean, that could actually, I could see it exploding at the very top and not hitting K rule. But these are theoretical situations. Did they just go to some Battlefield version of Smashville? Yes, they did. These perverted people. I mean, they just, like, they just like the music. Liking this music, yeah, that can happen apparently. And I mean, look at the stage, it's actually pretty much pretty different looking. And it's actually pretty cool, don't you think? The wooden log, yeah. it's kind of carved, it looks very yeah. different to the actual Smashville or Town and City. I'll give you that. Oh, almost getting a combo from that double side B. Oh, Mursu's at a percentage loss, not much, but just a bit. In yeah. Not enough, <laughs> because it's already yeah. taking back. Using the down B to count to reflect the crown at that point was a very good idea. Yeah. Of course, there's always the. <laughs> no, your your electro uh, electro shock arm doesn't matter. Get in this blunderbuss. I mean, it's a command grab with a wind box and. Kirby's inhale, pretty much. Yeah. In gun form. Yep. Oh, Pepe. and there we go. Striking, getting smash. the first kill, but this oh. is death. No, oh. he mashed, He wasn't fast enough. Or Pepe was too fast, I don't know. Too fast. Too furious. Oh. He, okay, so he attacked the crown. Yeah, it seems that if you attack the crown, he went through Pepe, but when he came back, it hit him. Did it? That's what it seemed to be like. I mean, that, that move is a thing that I'm gonna be testing out a lot because it, it has weird properties. K rule, sure K rule in general is such a weird character when you think about it. How his armor works and all of that. Yeah, we still live in. Oh! oh. <laughs> that, Not scared that, at all. That did a lot of shield damage, by the way. It did, and now Pepe's just, you know, running around, cooling off for a bit. He doesn't have the rush to face King K rule in uh. one v one combat. Uh, but he does it anyway, because that's the way he gets his opponents by surprise. I mean, K. Rule is a crocodile, he lives in water, he doesn't like electricity, so the side B is... Yeah, I don't think that really Pokemon matters. logic! Wait! It actually seemed like that you could angle that side B a bit. It went downwards a bit. I'm not quite sure about that. I could now be Musu seeing things. And now Musu accidentally going too high. Oh, Getting Footstool! Footstool. He's dead! No! no. That's How oh. far does that thing go? K. Rule's a big boy. Why, is that, why does that go so far? Because he's, he's, he's a good big boy, that's why. Yeah, and I mean, technically it's his own invention, so he must have been calibrated to his own weight. Exactly. Now that I said it, I want to have the Donkey Kong Country 3 Mad Doctor skin for this character. You just want skins. They're cool! You just want more microtransactions in Smash. <laughs> Uh, well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad. <laughs> I want good quality content that will uh, prolong this game's lifespan. Man, oh! Pepe's really just going all out. I don't think Mursu even has a chance. I mean, of course Mursu has a chance. <laughs> saying, saying otherwise is just plain false, but he's really schooling Mursu here. Yeah. And even, you know, <laughs> doing a little arrow dance. Oh, Wait. that reflects! I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Going with the up air there, not really enough for finish. And now, now it will. No! no, he charged it. He charged it. You need oh, to. Man. You need to do that immediately. So says Mayhem. But it is, at the very least, it seems to be true. Oh, again, Pete and Dark Pits characters who can challenge that. Yep. But the courage on Pepe. Monsu was just, just about to hit him with a forward smash. He's like, I'm gonna grab you, I don't care. Hey, I mean, he has a stock, and that's the forward throw. Just barely killing, but taking it. Yep. Quite convincingly. One stock only lost. Yep, and uh, we're going into game three next. Will this be a straight wash? Will Monsu be sent to losers with a straight wash? I mean, it kind of looks like it this, at this point. Do you think he'll change characters? I don't think Mortal has really played like properly any other characters than this. I mean, 
I, I, I would say he hasn't even played properly King K. Rule. The game's still been out for less than 48 hours. Yeah, but considering that he's only played King K. Rule pretty much during but, those... But I mean, the way he's going no. around, he's thinking about something else. I mean, of course, every, every one of us has tried pretty much all of the characters in this game. But ah, going yeah, back to his tried and true Lucina. The old favorite. And this is actually a very good because, you know, Lucina and uh, our Martin Pete have always been kind of compared to each other. And this is kind of the match of the Echo Fighters. <laughs> yep. Oh, and 32% already. You can definitely see that Morzu is familiar with this character. I mean, you can't go around playing some character as your main in Smash 4 and not know at all what happened in what happens in with the character. Yeah, especially since I don't think that Marth and Lucina got that many, like, they haven't changed. Sure, their frame data and some attributes might have changed, but their core hasn't changed at all. That's true. They still smack you with a sword. You don't say. One of them hasn't changed into a kickboxer. That would be actually really cool. Nah, that would mean Fire Emblem has a weird alternate universe where they kickbox each other in war. That sounds kick-ass. I want that game, Nintendo. Unintended? Maybe. He wasn't intended. Nothing, not is, nothing is intended with me. You're not smart enough to intend anything. Oh, oh nice. nice. Realizing that Pepe was too low to actually use side B to recover, realizing, okay, you need to do up B. And fly into this sword of mine. Yep. Mursu just uh, very proficient with his character right now. I would say he's probably more proficient with uh, Lucina than he is with King with K. Rule, but he just wants to use K. Rule because it's a new yeah. toy, so to say. New and shiny compared to the old and reliable. Yep. Still going off stage like a boss. I Good mean, down smash. <laughs> those arrows just come out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Every Especially time. Since in in this game, they do way more damage. They do way more knockback, and Dark Pit seems to be able to. Oh, too, too, too far. <laughs> yeah, Dark Beat can control them better, but you need to control yourself when you use them. I mean, you can control them. I, I think it's still about the same as Smash 4. Maybe a bit more, but uh, I wouldn't say it's an improvement still. Unfortunately, running straight into that forward Smash. And this is looking like a completely different person, completely different game. Did we change players? Uh, I'm pretty sure Mursu is still there. But I mean, that's exactly the reason why it's so different. Mursu is still playing. Now he's playing a character he actually knows how to play, and not the character he's still theory crafting. Yeah. I mean, all of those, yes, he used this character. Oh, that was a bad option. Oh, he saved his jump! Oh, beautiful tech, but that doesn't matter. If, wow. I can't, if I can't kill you with the stage, I'm just gonna smack you off stage. Wow. But that was actually really calculated because I was 100% certain that even though Morosu had his jump left that he was going to die because he air dodged off st away from the stage. Yeah, but he air dodged while he was still so high and yeah, but that, and that sword, uh, that's a recovery goes very far. That is true, but it's just... I actually think it might go further than it did in the last game. I, I haven't, I, I don't know. Are we going to actually go to Frigate Orpheon? No, it's Final Destination, God damn it. We have cool stages, use them! No, they're different than scary, boo. Oh yeah, I know, smash people and they're like... Wait, Morsu? Wait? Nah, he's just resting. Yeah. He's just resting there, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, no BM. I mean, he's uh, still losing 2-1, to one. he can't really start BM. Yeah, but considering the last match, that's, that should almost be 2-2 two two at this point already. We can skip this one and go to the last one. So you say, but we can't. Unfortunately. Though now Pepe has a lot more room to work with those projectiles. And there's yep. no platform at the top that uh, Morso can use to differentiate his uh, assault. They, ha they have to be pretty much head-on in this one. Yep, there's no cho choice except to be head-on. And uh, Pepe's doing a very good job, you know, using those arrows where he can, shooting one arrow here, one arrow there. It racks up damage. Yeah, already at 120. He's gonna be killing soon. Uh, yep, and Pepe is still at only 40%. It's... Ooh. See, always trying to shoot those arrows. Even though it's Dark Pit, even though you don't have a lot of control over those arrows, he's still trying to hit with them. 
Yeah, but they do damage and they rack up because I, I think they did 6% in this game. I am not sure about that. Let's see. I'm sure we'll see one connect one connect in this match still. <laughs> oh, just... Nice one thing that I see Pepe do quite often is just drop down the ledge, jump, and side B because he does have the arm. Yep. Oh, that was scary. Morosu actually was... Morosu was scared of that side B hitting him. That's why he air dodged. But unfortunately, the air dodge is quite slow in this one with the yep. lag. It causes a lot of lag if you don't do it in the right direction. I mean, the way Pepe just, you know, dashed to dance a bit with those arrows is kind of... It almost makes me feel like he's being disrespectful. Right. I mean, even just now, he turned away for, what, for just a moment just to... Yeah, it's pretty much just to throw off your opponent, because, like, if you turn, it's like, you can't hit me from there, but, aha, I can turn again! Surprise! Oh, still oh. shooting! <laughs> he really knows his, like, distances for his up B, because he's using those arrows and all that stuff. Off stage that off. I mean, he did SD once last match yeah, because of it. His calculations happen to the best of us. That's true. Ooh, nice going for that. Using the pummels. Remember, the, remember the actual actually pummel your opponent. Still difficult. Morsu was at 81 when before when he hit with the arrow. He was 88. So it's seven percent. That's a lot. It's almost 10% per, well, not quite close, but I mean, well, kind of almost, sort of. More than five. Yeah, let's round, round it out. Oh, no, unfortunately, he was trying to just... 10%, no, that. that was 10% damage right there. Oh, it, wait. It, uh, it depends on how long you charge it, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course, true, true. I think, like, no charges around seven. Ish. Oh. That's death. Oh, Pepe, don't die, thank you. That kind of looked scary. Pepe trying to wave dash, but that's not in this game. Sorry, my friend. Oh, that was close. He has no jump. Oh, he managed to get the ledge. No techs. It actually feels kind of really odd to try to tech in this game because the initial knockback is so, like, fast. You're right. It's uh, very... And, but then after the initial knockback, you might be flying slowly and you never know what's happening. Yeah. You never know where you're going to end up. Just arrows on arrows. He just... That actually Ouch. hits him! Back of the head! Back of the head, but not gonna kill yet. Back of the head while he's dashing past. That's like a ninja move right there. Aha! I see you! I have ice behind my back. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. That's the thing and when that's, you... That's 3-1. Yeah, Pepe taking it. Morsu was mounting a comeback with that fourth match, but... Uh, third match, but that didn't really go that well for the last one. But that's nope. one, of, one of the main things. Fire Emblem characters, generally, if you take out their jump, they are really bad. But yep. <laughs> and Pits and Dark Pits are pretty much one of the best characters to take your jump away with those arrow arrows. Yep, I mean, they, they also have so much uh, aerial momentum themselves, so much aerial movement themselves. Yeah, they can harass you at all the time at offstage if they want to. Yep. Ah, oh, I wonder what we're getting next. Oh, do we actually get Schwa versus Lancelot? Oh yeah, Turku people are enjoying the fact that Turku people are winning. Those gosh darn Turku people. We're getting next probably the most one of the most hyped matches of this tournament. We're getting uh, Schwa versus Lancelot, the two Turku players, the two of the best players in Finland. Thankfully, after this one, one Turku player is in the loser's side. Yes. Why do you hate Turku so much, man? I don't hate Turku. I love Helsinki. They have good ice cream in Hel Turku. Do they? No, yeah. but I I actually think that Hause was a Sneaky devil, and he's gonna play first. Oh, really? At least he's sitting at the st station. <sighs> What's happening? What's happening? How's the versus Imi? Oh, losers, yeah. Imi lost to Lance, remember? Imi lost to Lance. Some technical difficulties with who's actually going to be playing the game.
It seems a house and email already starting. Right, doesn't matter. That's going to be a good one too. 